And from the outset, if you're interested in this bag, you should know that this bag is very annoying. This bag is very annoying to you. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, let's do a requested video, which is a review of the Louis Vuitton loop bag. This is now called the Loop PM. There is a larger version, the hobo style of the loop, but today we're gonna to talk about this one. And from the outset, if you're interested in this bag, you should know that this bag is very annoying. This bag is very annoying to use. And if you're looking at this at all, stay tuned. And I'm gonna take you through why I think Think it's very very annoying because there is no getting away that it's a stunning bag. It's a very on trend bag. It's a hot bag. The loop shape across a lot of the designer houses is very very hot and in the moment. It looks fabulous. If I'm just looking at this bag I think it looks fabulous but the fact that it's annoying to use stops me using this bag if I'm honest with you. I do look at it, I pick it up, I think this would work wonderfully with a certain outfit, I think it's edgy looking and I think yep yeah, that's the bag I'm going to use. Then I think about actually using it and I put it back on the shelf because it's annoying. Anyway let's get started. In this version of the loop, Louis Vuitton bring this out on a number of different editions. There is this one, which is the black or grey denim version of the loop bag. And I think this is actually completely sold out now. I don't know if it's available. It's certainly not available online. This has the silver hardware with it. I love this little chain that comes across it. I love the zip that goes across here. I really like the black piping that goes along here. As an aesthetic, I think this bag is beautiful. I think there's some versions of it that are really, really stunning like this one. And I think this is edgy and there's just something about it that makes it look really, really well. On the back, it's completely plain on the monogram canvas. It has a zip across the top with the monogram coming around it and it has these black leather sections here which hold on the D-rings for the strap. Along the bottom, there are no feet on this bag. It is the denim or the canvas or whichever version you have right along the bottom. And then on the zip, this zip opens up to give you one compartment on the inside and it is the back of the canvas. You can see that mine is the back of the denim looking canvas, whatever yours will be. It's not lined inside with leather. It does have a plaque on here which says Louis Vuitton made in Paris. There are no pockets inside this bag. It's just one space. There are no zip pockets inside it. There are no slip pockets inside it. So everything sits in here. I will show you what this bag holds and it actually holds more than I thought it would. I actually think there's really good capacity with this bag. That's not one of the things that annoys me with this bag. I like the details. I like the Louis Vuitton on the pull here. I think this adds a little bit rather than just being a normal zip pull and I especially love this chain. The chain hanging across it is one of my favourite features. I think against the black and the denim this looks really really edgy. The first thing about this bag which annoys me but not the main thing is this strap. Straps I just think are annoying because it's hard to get a strap that's going to suit everybody. It's hard to get a length that's going to suit everybody. The length of this actually really works for me. What I don't really like about this strap is I think it feels a bit thin and flimsy. I think it feels a little bit on the cheap side. It doesn't have the Louis Vuitton hardware of the buckle to lengthen it. The good thing about that is it makes it more streamlined looking. It gives it a cleaner look that you don't have the buckle here or sitting into your back and it also makes this strap lighter. So whenever you're wearing the bag the fact that there's less hardware on this strap definitely makes it lighter. This strap can go to three lengths. This is it in the middle length and it's actually my preferred way to wear it. Whenever I first bought this bag and I unboxed it with you and I shared it with you I said I thought the middle length on this strap would never be used for me and I am eating my words I was wrong this is the way that I like this bag the best is on this middle strap and I will show you when I try it on where that makes it sit on me but just so as you get an idea it sits there and I think that's my preferred length it's not too long it's not too short it looks really well to extend this or to change the length you just pop out the little poppers and pull this along so you can pull it along and put it in the shortest and that will make it effectively a shoulder bag. That's not a way I'm ever going to wear it because I don't really favour shoulder bags. But it doubles up really nicely. This sits in underneath this one. When you pull it across and that length, if you want a shoulder bag, is perfect. If you wear shoulder bags, that's going to sit at a length for you that's really, really good. It does have this doubling up. It does mean you've got the two straps. 
That annoys me a bit, but I don't wear it doubled up. If you are going to, you need to know that you're going to have that folded like that. But hopefully that's workable. That's not the worst thing about it, I don't think. And then to wear it at its longest, you just pull these two open and pull these right along. They sit up at the top like this and you have this very long length. This is the way that I thought I would wear it, but it actually is a bit too long for me. I like the shorter one that sits about here, but it does give an option of three different lengths. It gives a very good shoulder length option. It gives a very good middle length crossbody and it gives a longer crossbody. These as well come off. There is a D-ring attaching here and each of the straps on this come off so you can take off the black leather strap and you can use it just with the chain so that will make it more if it's an evening bag for you or if you want a handheld bag that also is actually a good length that fits under my shoulder really comfortably there are some bags when i try to do that because i'm not the skinniest person in the world i'm only five foot one but i'm curvy and there's some bags when i try to do that it just doesn't sit they're too tight they're up here and i feel like they're suffocating me and they're uncomfortable it doesn't work that works perfectly so if you like to wear this under the shoulder that's also a really good option I think it's also a really good option if you just want to take this on an evening or carry it I also like the look of the chain across it if you really want to you can take this off as well this is also fully detachable so there are a lot of ways to use this bag I'm not sure I would ever carry it like this like a clutch bag but it's an option if you're interested in doing it or if you like to wear it with the black leather strap and take the silver off it or if you want to take both of them off or you just want one, there's so many ways to wear this. This is proper Louis Vuitton chain, so it does have the Louis Vuitton engraved on the side of the chain. The chain is not overly heavy. I don't think the weight of this bag is a problem, even with that chain. That's not too heavy. I think that's really copable. Even if you have both of these on the bag, I still think the weight isn't really an issue of the bag itself because it's canvas. The bag is quite light, so even if you fill it up with all of your stuff, you're not, I don't think, going to have too much problems with this being one of the heavier bags. I think it's actually on the lighter side, even though it has a good capacity. It then has this little pocket across here, which I have never used. It opens up here. It's a little slip, I suppose, if you had something like a train ticket or you had a card or a hotel key or something, it could slip in there really easily and you would have it know exactly where it is and you wouldn't need to worry about it being inside the bag moving about your other items. Now, what I find most annoying about this bag, and if I'm completely honest, which puts me off using it, is this zip. Because the zip is in this curved shape, it's awkward to get in and out of. It's it's awkward. So you can see that it kind of curls like that when you're trying to use this. You're pushing it down and pushing it back up. It's not an easy, smooth, buttery, flies across the zip. It doesn't. It's it's awkward. And it, it you see, it you have to hold it to pull it. Or if you're trying to do it with one hand, it's awkward if I was to try to open this. So if you try to wear this across you, what am I at? Let's put it at the one I actually wear it. So if you're wearing this bag across you, I thought when I was wearing this would be a very easy get in and out of bag. It's not impossible. It's not like I'm saying it's very, very difficult, but it's just not a smooth zip to try and maneuver. It can be a bit awkward. I used this bag once. I went into the shop with it. I was picking up a few things. I had thought this bag was going to be very easy. I had opened it and when I went to try and close the zip, I was kind of getting stuck and it wasn't closing smoothly. And I was just feeling a little bit frazzled that it was not completely working and I was in the queue and it just kind of did put me off the bag a bit and make me think the bag was a bit annoying to use. Aesthetically, I think it's beautiful. I think it's a really stunning piece of Louis Vuitton. I just think if you're going to buy this bag, you need to be aware that this zip isn't the easiest because of the moon shape, because it has to go down and up. So it has to go down and then back up again. It can just be that, see, it can just be that bit awkward to use. It's a little bit easier when it's on you because your kind of gravity's helping, but it's definitely, definitely not the easiest to use. For the shape of this bag, the capacity is actually good. It doesn't need too much tetrising, I don't find. I think it fits certainly what I would need on a daily basis. And let's have a look at what fits 
inside this space. Now there isn't any pocket so everything's just going to be in and what I'm going to show you is my phone which is the iPhone Pro. It's not the largest one, it's the Pro version. I have my long card holder from Louis Vuitton. I have my Louis Vuitton key clay. I have my four ring key holder. I have my AirPods, which are going to go in there and I have a lip product and I can fit all of this in there without too much difficulty and without the bag becoming too bulky. So in there now, I will show you, we have everything I just showed you. We have my phone at the back. We now don't have my key holder. Now the key holder has been rescued from the floor. We have my phone at the back. We have my, you can see it's a bit awkward. We have my phone at the back. We have the long card holder here. We have the key clay in front of it here. Then we have my key holder, which is determined to fall back out. We have the lip product in this corner and we have my AirPods over in this corner. And that doesn't, that holds all of that comfortably. That, the zip. That doesn't look, if you look at that, that doesn't look bulgy. It doesn't look like it's out of shape. Certainly it's added some weight to it because I've ever just put everything into it. But the shape I think keeps really, really well. I don't think it looks like anything's sticking out. I think you could carry all of those things in this comfortably without feeling like you were overfilling the bag or bulging the bag. I think that for this size of bag has really good capacity. This is the middle setting of this bag and probably my preferred way to wear it. I like the way it sits right on your hip. I think it's neat looking. I think it looks probably its best on this setting, in my opinion. Longest setting on me. I am five foot one, but I do have heels on at the moment. This is where I thought I would wear this bag the most. I thought this would be my preferred. It's down below my hip. It's sitting lower. If you do prefer a longer crossbody or if you are taller than me, this is probably a really good option for a crossbody to wear it on the longest length. Still sits really well. I just prefer it on that slightly higher length, but I still think it looks really good on this, this setting. This is the shortest length. You can get those when you double them up to sit neat and better than it did whenever I was showing it on the chair. That's them sitting very neatly together and I'll just show you that on my shoulder. I actually think if you like a shoulder bag, this is a really great length. It's not too short, it's not up under your arm, it's not uncomfortable. As a shoulder bag, if I liked to wear bags this way, I think this is a really, really good length. I've shown you what it looks like on all three lengths. This is what the bag with all of that in it sits on me at my preferred way to wear it. This is the middle length. I do think it is nice that you don't have the buckle, which I could put at the back to hide, but it does give a clean look. I just think the straps a little bit, not the best Louis Vuitton could do, but it does give a clean look if you like that. I do think that it is very, very pretty and aesthetically pleasing, but I do think if you're looking at this bag, be aware it's annoying, be aware of that zip issue and getting your things in with that zip issue and the opening and the closing, it's a lot of money. Just make sure you know that going into it and that you're happy with that before you buy it. Don't get me wrong, I still think it's a fabulous bag and it's a beautiful bag and I can see why it's a very, very popular bag. I think the monogram version from Louis Vuitton is basically sold out pretty much most of the time. This one, I don't even know if you can get anymore. It's certainly sold out online. So they're very, very popular and the shape is very, very hot. You just have to master that curved lip zip whenever you're getting in and out of it. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope this has been helpful if you're interested in this bag. If you do have any other requests or reviews you would like to do, please do let me know. If you have enjoyed this in any way or it's been useful to you, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Please do consider subscribing. And if you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another video on the screen for you, for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.